Hello, Scorpio. It's your turn. Um, <laughs> sorry, I had to get my thoughts together. So we are doing spooky tarot because it is a spooky month. I hope to God I do not spell that. But I don't know if you guys can see my Ghostbusters shirt. All right, so I've already meditated and cleansed the space. Maybe I should do some sound cleansing with this bell. Actually, I'm sure it's fine. All right, so. <clears throat> You know, October is my favorite month because of Spooky Tarot. So let's dive in, shall we? If you don't know what Spooky Tarot is or you're new here, we use... Oh, look at that. The first card I pop open. We use the Spooky Tarot with... Well, I call it Spooky Tarot, but it's actually the Beauty of Horror deck. And it has it's the back, there's the front. It's creepy. And I love it. I love creepy. So it's funny, I've been watching um, the Wednesday series on Netflix with my kids. And <laughs> just, it just cracks me up like how much I didn't realize that my personality is a lot like Wednesdays. <laughs> um, it's funny. Like the way she doesn't like to socialize, um, the way she sort of has this like affinity of like pushing people away. <laughs> um, you know, she's just very antisocial and I, I don't know if that's just a Leo trait or if it's just me, but like, I'm just like that. Um, I'm very particular about my time. Like I prefer to just be alone by myself all the time. And, you know, even when I do socialize, like, I'm very, um, I'm very particular about, like, who I let into my energy and space, okay, I guess. I don't know how to describe that. All right, so we're going to dive right in. Speaking of Wednesday, there's, like, Adam's Family song is, like, playing in the background. I think my daughter's watching something out there. One second. Okay, yeah, so she must have been watching something, my daughter, and it was really loud. Okay, so we are reading now for Scorpio. What does Scorpio need to know for October about their love life? This is just going to be a general love reading, so it's not going to resonate with everyone, but it's going to resonate with someone. I've already asked Archangel Michael to come in here and spit, sit, spit. Yeah, I asked him to come in here and spit. Can't talk today, dude. Um, come in here and sit with us as we clear the space and protect our space and energy while I channel. All right, what does Scorpio need to know for October for, ooh, excuse me, for their love life? So just so you guys know, I don't have my camera stand. I left it in Lansing at my mom's house when I was taking care of her when she had surgery. So I'm literally sitting on the floor. I have my camera propped up, not, I don't have my camera stand at all. So, you know, it's, it's literally propped up. Um, so, um, it's, it's, it's literally propped up on like tarot cards. Um, I have like, let's see, one, two, three, four, five decks that they're like, and they're big. They're like, you know, like the, or not tarot cards, Oracle cards, like, and then I have my phone leaning against it. And then I still have my light. So that's a plus. That way you guys can see me, right? 
but that's why I'm on the floor. Okay, so we have Ace of Wands. Let's see what else we have. <clears throat> Hold on one second. We have Ace of Wands and the World. Ooh, and King of Wands. Okay, so there's a lot of wands here, you guys. There's going to be some movement in your love life. Um, Ace of Wands, something is growing. Um, there's been some growth. I don't know if it's you or your person, but it's next to the world. So... This is a lot of personal growth and the end of a cycle. Something completing, right? You also have someone that, okay. So let me just go back a little bit. So you've been working on yourself, Scorpio. There's been a lot of personal growth. And, you know, because of this personal growth, there is completion of some cycle in your life that has been extremely hard for you. So let me just, I'm wrapping you up in a hug right now. I know that you can't feel it, but I am. Okay. Um, I see that it hasn't been easy, but you've completed it and everything is is working out from this point on okay you do have someone um that could possibly be watching you in your you know in your energy and space it's the king of wands so this would be a fire sign uh, masculine aries leo sagittarius right those are the fire signs yes um but also, this could represent you, you, um, in your take charge masculine energy, right? <clears throat> That's what Scorpio needs to know. Thank you for allowing me to be the clearest channel for source messages. All right. Wow. Okay. So three of wands that you so far, literally you have all wands. Look, we have ace of wands, the world, we have king of wands, and then we have three of wands. So something that you've been waiting on. Oh my goodness. Something that you've been waiting on in regards to your love life. It's coming. The three of wands is about looking out and to the horizon. Um, you know, like, not literally, but this person is looking out across the landscape and they're waiting for something. Do you see how it looks almost like this person is waiting for something? So it's waiting for something to arrive. Okay. What is Scorpio waiting on in regards to their love life? What is Scorpio waiting on? I'm to ask that question. What is it that Scorpio is waiting on for their love life? What is Scorpio waiting on? Oh, the moon. So you're waiting for someone to reveal their feelings to you. Okay, possibly the king of wands. I don't know. Um, the moon energy is also, it's, it's Cancerian energy. So some of you could be dealing with a cancer. Okay. They gave me three more cards and I'm going to go ahead and read them because, you know, Ooh, four, because, you know, spirit's not just going to throw out shit unless the, you know, it needs to be, it needs to be read. And then we're going to move on to a different deck. We have death, three of cups. Is that, let's see. 
eight. I have swords. Okay. Um, eight of pentacles, knight of swords. So... I think I'm going to have to pull another card on it, but I think that this person that you're waiting on to come forward and express emotions to you, I think they're going to come forward. Okay. I think that they are because we have death, which is change, right? There's some significant change either in you or in your person. Possibly. Here's what I think, Scorpio. I think the changes have been in you, right? I think, excuse me, I had an air bubble in my throat. I think the changes in you, right, the personal growth and the completion of these cycles that have been hard in your life, right, working on yourself and, you know, even though you were in this energy of waiting, you didn't just sit passively and wait. You actually were doing the work while you were waiting, okay? And yes, these three cards show me that you're waiting on someone to tell you how they feel. Possibly a fire sign masculine, okay? And because of that personal growth, and you working on yourself, it's caused a significant change. And there's something really good coming in. And I think it's this confession. We had the moon, right? Which is a secret, something, you know, secretly coming out, secret feelings, right? Then we have change and we have joy. Look at that three of cups. So someone revealing a secret to you, which changes everything and brings you so much happiness. Um, this person has also done a lot of personal work on themselves, right? We have the eight of pentacles, which is, you know, someone that's slowly, steadily doing work on themselves. I see as well, too, that this also could represent Scorpio too, that your, your work on yourself is not done. Whatever the case, okay, this person has also done a lot of inner work and because this came out like this, eight of pentacles, knight of swords. This person is, is spontaneously just going to come forward. It, it, it's funny. There's this energy of like, they might not even literally think about their actions before they just This person is very impulsive. Okay, I'm going to tell you that. So they might not even literally think about what they say before they say it to you. And it's definitely more fire sign energy, right? So I feel like this would be the type of person that they're, they're going to write you a text or something. And this is just an example. But this is the type of energy they're in. So they would write a text like, oh my God, I should have told you sooner, but I'm really into you. You know what I'm saying? Something like that. And it, it's like they write it and then they send it before they even have a chance to even reread it. So there might even be some spelling errors like in the text or, you know what I mean? Because they, they're, they're not even going to reread it. They're just going to write it and send it because it's just impulsive. It's just like one day, you know, they're thinking about you and the next minute they're like, you know what? Fuck, screw this. I mean, <laughs> F this. I, I'm just going to go for it. And then they just shoot it out, you know, because they're very impulsive. But here's the thing, they've done a lot of work on themselves. So this impulsivity, in, in, <laughs> is that even a word? This impulsive action, though they're not thinking when they sort of come forward to approach you, they've done enough work on themselves that, you know, In the past, if they, if this is someone from your past, for example, um, they, yes, they are still impulsive, right? So if, if this is someone you know in your past who was possibly impulsive, I see that, yes, they still have a tendency to be, to be impulsive. But the work that they have done on themselves means that 
um, they don't necessarily always let that impulsiveness run them. Okay. Only when it comes to you. Does that make sense? <laughs> it's like you addle their brain. Their, their brain's addled by love. <laughs> All right. Let's get some more. Um, actually, no. I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to shuffle this tarot deck, but I don't really want to use it. Let's see. Oops. Um, let's, I'm going to get some love Oracle and then we'll go back onto the tarot. And then I also have the message of love Oracle deck so we can get some insight into your person's mind and what, you know, the secrets of their heart are. And then we will be ending with a, um, keepers of the light card. All right. What else does Scorpio need to know about this interesting connection? So this is how you'll know this person. You know, I don't know if they're from their, your past or someone that you haven't met yet, but they're very impulsive. <laughs> it's like they just kind of go for it. You know what I'm saying? They're very action oriented. Like it could be someone who's like in the army or because I feel like it's someone who's like really good at, you know, um, With like adrenaline rushes and stuff. Definitely fire sign energy. Wow, we have mystery and soulmate. Third party. Ooh. It's possible they're getting out of a relationship with someone else. Because we have third party, right? They are your soulmate though. It's a soulmate card came out. And player. Wow. Okay, so this is possibly someone who in the past, they they may have, and I hate to say this, Scorpio, because, you know, I'm not here to judge anyone, to judge you or judge them, but this person may have had another person in their, um, in their life and, you know, they had to choose, right? The third part, we have third party and we have player. And okay, so let me let me just go back for a second. We have mystery and soulmates, and then we have third party and player. So they may have been involved with someone else when they met you, okay? And you know, they may have made a a pass at you and knowing that they were in a relationship with someone else, God forbid, or you know, they were with someone, the relationship was kind of on the outs, and they saw you and they might have thought, oh, they were interested in you, but they definitely didn't come in with the right attitude. They had this attitude of like, they just wanted to play around with you, right? We got the player energy, right? That's what I mean by impulsive. They saw you, they were, ooh, I like that. They made a pass or... They said something inappropriate, okay? And now they're getting out of this third party, right? Now the relationship with this other person ended and you threw them for a loop. Can I just say that? Because there's this energy here. Okay, we have mystery and we have soulmate. Now the energy I'm getting from this mystery card is they might have looked at you and thought, oh, it was just... They, they wanted, as soon as they seen you, they wanted you. They were instantly attracted to you, right? And they thought it's just going to be like everyone else, right? Um, and you threw them for a loop. They didn't expect to have these deep feelings that they do for you now. You come across as a very strong mystery to them, okay? That's why we have the mystery card. And they don't realize that you guys have a soul tie anyways, because we have the soulmate card here as well. So they weren't expecting to want to know all these things about you. You might, they might see you as someone who's like very um, closed off towards them and, or even closed off just towards people in general. They want to know more, you know, like you're a mystery to them. They, they don't know how you take your coffee, if you even drink coffee. They want to know, they don't know what you do for a living. Um, they don't know how you feel about them. And so 
it's very nerve-wracking for them because they're used to being able to read people and they cannot read you, Scorpio. All right, let me go ahead. I'm going to get, okay. Tell me about this mystery card, please. I'm going to get some more information on this for you, Scorpio. Tell me about the mystery card, please. Why do we have the mystery card here? Tell me about the mystery card. Wow, we have the hermit. Yes, so see, you're not really like the type of person that likes to be out socializing. You sort of keep to yourself and it drives them nuts. All right. Okay, tell me a little bit about this soulmate. We get some information about this soulmate person, please. Besides the fact that they're probably a fire sign. Let's get some more information about this soulmate, please, Spirit. We have Nine of Swords. So they're very anxious about coming forward, right? But... There's a sense of anxiety. I don't think they're prepared for a connection this deep. <laughs> right? They weren't ready for it. It caused them so much anxiety. When it came in, it was almost like they were like, why do I feel like this with this person? Wow, Ten of Cups. The thing is, though, they they know that a huge part of their happiness is with you. Ten of Cups is the happy family card. It's, you know, wishes fulfilled. It's the happy ever after card. All right, let's get a card for this third party and player energy, please. If they were a player in the past, there's, they're definitely not now. You threw them for a loop. They weren't expecting to fall in love with you, but they did. See? They possibly lied about something. We have Seven of Swords, which is like the card of like being dishonest. They may have, you know, told you they weren't interested because they were with someone else. Queen of Cups. Wow. There's definitely been a shift in their energy. They're in the Queen of Cups energy now, which means this energy of being soft and receptive, um, being open and sensitive. The Queen of Cups energy is about intuition and softness and sensitivity right it's the card of the nurture all right let's get what's going to be the outcome is this person gonna come forward i think that they will because they come across as knight of swords what's going to be the outcome All right, we have four of swords. So I have no idea how to interpret that, honestly. <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you. Four of swords is about rest, relaxation, meditation, um, not really making any mo movements towards you. But the thing that's really confusing to me is we had the knight of swords. Now we have the four of swords. So here's what I think is going to happen, Scorpio. They may make some kind of impulsive move towards you, but the outcome is showing that after that, they're possibly going to retreat because Four of Swords is is about resting. It's, it's no movement, right? So I don't know. I feel like this person really does love you, but I don't know if they're going to... Yeah. 
they might come in with a message impulsively before they're ready. And then, you know, it might be the same old. They might just retreat after that and not really step up fully. That's what it feels like with the Four of Swords. All right. Um, let's, what does this person want Scorpio to know? What is the secrets in their heart? So while they will come forward, I just... They know that you're their happily ever after. They just can't seem to admit yet that they will admit it. But I don't think they're going to step up for good after that. Does that make sense? Sadly, I hate that. But I'm just reading the energy. Okay, what else we got? The secrets of their hearts. Irreplaceable. See, I know they love you deeply. The way you love can never be matched. That's what it says. Irreplaceable. See? The way you love can never be matched. Mend. I want to fix our connection. See? They do want to fix this connection. They just can't. It's like they, they come forward. They're, they really do have good intentions. And then something happens and they, they, they pull back their energy. It's like they're scared or something. Right? Gossip. I'm afraid of what other people will think. Wow. So <laughs> it's possible this person it has been has loved many women throughout their whole entire life. And now all of a sudden they meet you, they fall in love, and they're like, what are people going to think? You know, I have to retire my player card. Like, <laughs> they're worried about what people are going to think. Or maybe they're, they're, married and they're getting a divorce and they think okay so what's going to happen what are people going to think if i'm in another connection right away right you know how people worry about stupid stuff like that oh what is this per what is society going to think blah, blah 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 damn we have third party again there were other things that got in the way of us being together see third party you may have i hate to say this scorpio but you may have met this person and they may have been married and, you know, for a while. And now that they're getting out of it, they're still worried about what people are going to think about your guys' connection. All right. I'm going to pull a little bit more tarot cards on this because um, I just, I hate to leave the reading like that. All right. Is there anything else Scorpio needs to know about this connection with this person? Is there anything else Scorpio needs to know? I feel like this person will come forward eventually again. I just don't know if they're ready to get off the roller coaster. Wheel of Fortune. All right, so it's definitely a faded connection. You guys will end up together. I just don't know if it's now. <laughs> Wheel of Fortune's Fate. It's my Fate card. All right. Um, so they might not have. It was just 2828. See? On my camera. Like, you can't make it up. You guys might not end up together right now in this, in this, you know, within the next couple weeks. But you guys will end up together for sure. They have these issues to work out first. These issues within themselves. It's nothing to do with you, Scorpio. This is their journey. It's possible you could be dealing with the twin flame connection. What's the last message for Scorpio? Charity, prayer, and contemplation. Connect with heaven. Ask and you shall... Receive. I will read this from the book for you. Beautiful. Asking you so shall receive. Beautiful Scorpios. Faith, hope, and charity are a trinity of archangels who are dedicated to helping us regain our natural traits of kindness, trust, and faith in the highest good. Charity is the twin flame of Archangel Chamuel. So Chamuel, you guys, Chamuel Archangel Chamuel is the angel which helps helps people to connect with their soulmates, ironically. 
you can look it up on on YouTube and there's plenty of videos about Archangel Chamuel, okay? C-H-A-M-U-E-L. She has a great spirit that encourages us to undertake the spiritual practices of prayer and meditation. Prayer is the way that we speak with the divine and meditation is the way that we open ourselves to receive the answers that we need to hear. Why is the light? Why is it doing that? It's so strange. Anyways. Okay. Charity is also the angel who kisses the forehead of all those who pray in support of others. I think it's because I'm blocking the light. She absolutely loves to see this kindness because it creates an inspirational healing wave of goodwill to the world. The powerful Archangel Charity is drawing close to you at this time because she has recognized that you have goodness in your heart and you have put others first. She brings you thanks and support. Move into prayer and meditation with regards to any decisions that you have to make at this time. You are being guided to take the time to breathe and receive. Know that you will have a real surge of intuition when it's time to move forward. Thank the angels for guiding you towards your highest good and welcome charity into the space with you. Wow. I love that she has flowers in her hair as well. That to me is representative of Mother Mary. Um, and the Rose of Sharon. All right. So that seems like a really good place to end this reading. Um, my beautiful Scorpios. If you'd like to book a reading with me, I always put my information, and you guys can't even see, there's no glare of my glasses. I always put the information in the pinned comments. So in, if you look in the comments, like if you're going to make a comment for me, which please do, I love when you guys reach out. I love, love hearing from you guys. Okay, so it's going to be in the pinned comment. It's also always in my description box below my videos. All right, I love you so much, Scorpio. Bye.